Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hello again. So today again is about Halloween, but it's also what would you make? So on my channel, I love to do DIYs on a budget, Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse and rustic, wreaths, and seasonal decor. So if you like what you see here, know what to do. Hit the red subscribe button. Also leave me a comment. Love to hear what you guys think. And also give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and Facebook. But like I said, today is all about what would you make. And our hosts are Rustic and Lace DIY, Divine Designs. And also the guest host is the DIY Struggler. More about that in a minute. But first, DIY number one. So the first DIY, I am taking um, the napkin from the Dollar Tree, also that bee, um, a ghost, and a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, some um, ribbon to make a bow, and then this wood round, which is 14 inches, that I get mine from Hobby Lobby. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to take my antique wax, and I taped off sections on the top and the bottom and the middle. And I use a baby wipe and then I use a dry towel for my um, antique wax. That's how I stain everything. And I also wear a glove because <laughs> it gets very messy. Then um, I move to the center and I'm going to do that with my black um, paint. This is just black acrylic paint that I used. Next, I take off the tape and then you got those nice crisp lines. Next, I'm going to... Do my ghost with the color white, and then the pumpkin, of course, I'm going to do an orange. I think this was spiced pumpkin. I can't remember. So now, the B, I'm going to take some um, Mod Podge, and I'm going to put that down on the B. And then I cut a portion of the napkin on off that I wanted to use for the B. And I just smooth that over the top. And I make sure, you know, try to get as much bubbles and wrinkles out as I can. Then I dry it. And then I take the Mod Podge and I put it over the top. Now, the reason I dried it is because it helps smooth it out with my finger as I'm drying it. Then once that was dry, I went in with my sander and I sanded off all the excess and in between the B there. Next, I'm going to take my um, glue and I'm going to glue everything down. So I use super wood glue from the Dollar Tree and I also use my hot glue. And once I get those all down, then I ended up putting a bow on it, which I didn't show making the bow because I have tons of bow making um, videos. So you guys can watch those if you want on how I do my bows. But that's what I did. And then I put these in the center. Guys, this was super easy, inexpensive, and I love the way it turned out. So definitely try this one because this looks so cute on the front door. And that's it. And there it is with the bow on top. And like I said, let me know what you think down below in the comments. So today's all about what would you make? We're doing wood. Um, these are your hosts and your guest hosts, like I told you. Their links to their channels will be down below in my description box, along with a playlist of everyone who's participating. So make sure you go check everyone out, okay, guys? Now on to DIY number two. So this DIY, I have a cutting machine. And I, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know, I cut stuff out and then I sell it in my Etsy shop. My Etsy link will be down below in my description box. And this is one of the kits that will be in the Etsy shop. It's a Hey Boo sign and it's really cool because the old looks like it's all old and rustic. And that I love that vibe, especially for Halloween. So you get the ghost, you get the Hey Boo, and then you get the back. So what I did is I took each slaps of wood um, and I just painted it all black this is going to be really easy because we're just going to use black and white for this. And then you'll see I'm going to make the sides look a little old with a different color paint. Then, of course, the ghost I did in white. And then I did the hey boo also in white. Then I took some of this metallic metal uh, paint. And I just went around the edges with my central brush to give it that old look. And I just, you know, did a little here and there. And then I used my baby wipe to wipe some when I got a little bit too much, but I love the way that turned out. And then I went with another um, brush and I just did very light dry brush over all the pieces. And I just kept going and did all of those. And then what I did is um, after I did those, I went around my ghost as well with the same 
color. So this is just like a metal color. Um, it's not silver. You can use the silver if you want to, but I like the metal because it makes it look a little bit more rustic um, vibe to it. And then I went around the letters as well. This is going to make the ghost stand out a little bit more, and it's also going to give it that old vintage look, which I love. So now these two pieces are the pieces that you would put on the back. So you're going to separate your slabs of wood just a little bit and just try to make it as even as possible. I did not measure. I just eyeballed it. And then I took my pieces and I glued them down on the top and the bottom. And that's what's going to keep all your pieces together. And I used wood glue, the super wood, the super glue wood glue, <laughs> and then the hot glue. And then I'm going to glue down my little face on my ghost. He's so cute. This is a friendly ghost, guys. <laughs> and then his little mouth. And I did that same thing with the wood glue and the hot glue. I always use the wood glue. Because the super glue wood glue, the pieces never fall off, you guys. I swear by it. And then I'm going to glue down my hey boo. And then my, um, figure out where I want them. You could do any way you want. There's no right or wrong way. This is just the kit. You put it how you like it. And then I just glued down my ghost. And then the hey boo. And I didn't show gluing down the words because, you guys, it's really tedious work. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to bore you with that. And then I just glued down my ghost and this is the cutest little ghost. I love this. And yeah. So if you don't like a really scary Halloween type of look, I would go with this cause it's cute. And then I'm going to make my bow. Now in this one, I show you how I make my bow. So what I do is I use a bobadabra and I just flip my ribbon back and forth and then I make my tails as long as I think I need them. Usually I cut them down 50 zillion times because you know how that goes. And then I took some of this Buffalo check ribbon from Christmas <laughs> and I flipped that back and forth in the bow dabra as well. I always use the bow dabra because it's really easy when you have your ribbon. And then I went in with this striped um, ribbon as well. And you just make a cute bow, you guys. And you make it as short or as long as you want it. And you also make your loops as big as you want them. And then I use a zip tie to tie my bows only because it's really tight. And I have a hard time with string, tying string. So I just get it the way I want it. I make sure I pull my tails down. I don't zip tie it really tight until I want, you know, I get it where I want it. Make sure it's in the center. And then I just, you know, do... um my ends, I make them look really cute, and I just give it a little cut, fold them in half and cut in an upward direction. And then I took some jute twine, and I'm just going to put some black and white beads on it, and that's going to be my hanger. Now, these white beads I got from Hobby Lobby when they were on sale. And then I put a little knot on the end of both sides of my string so the beads don't fall off. And then I'm going to put my little bow in the corner that I made, and I just glue that down. And then the beads, I just um, put those in the back. And there it is. Really simple, you guys. Let me know what you think. Also, go check out my Etsy shop. Some of this stuff is in there for sale. You can make your own. And the ones that I already made will be in there as well. Next, we're going to take a, um, I believe this is 12 inch from the Dollar Tree round. I'm going to split it kind of like in half. And I'm going to take some... Um. Uh, oh my god, antique wax and a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe that on the side, one side and then the other side I'm going to do black and I always use a sponge, I cut it up from the Dollar Tree they come in like a pack of five and I use those this time I'm using my Cricut, this is on my Cricut I got this design, so if you have a Cricut, great if you don't have a Cricut, then you can always use stickers they have tons of rub-on transfers you could get on Amazon. I mean, you guys, it's endless possibilities here. And you could put ghosts on there, or you could do whatever design you want. This is just what I chose to do. And um, then I put Hey Boo on the other side, and I did get, like I said, this whole Cricut design is already made for you in Cricut. So if you have the Cricut, it's really great to get these designs, especially if you have the membership for every month. Then I took some of these old... Um, they're like glittery branches from the Dollar Tree. And I glued them on the top. And then I just took this bow that I made a little expo with some fabric. 
and I tied it in a knot in the center, and that's it. Super simple, you guys. There's so many wood signs. You could do so much. Endless possibilities. So now DIY number four. Now this one I made on my, uh, this will be in my shop. I made this on my wood machine, and it comes with these stands so that they could stand up on a shelf, okay? And they're little ghosts, and I think they are adorable. It's a Mr. and Mrs. Ghost. And I'm gonna use a lot of scrapbook papers, like scrapbook Halloween paper that I had in my stash instead of just painting because I think it just gives it more character, gives them a little bit more character. And yeah, so I used a whole bunch and it comes with the bats, it comes with the bow tie for the gentleman ghost and then for the lady ghost, it comes with a little bow. So first I'm going to, of course, paint them all white. So I did the front, the back, the sides, and then my little stands that you see there, the triangle stands, I painted those white as well. Then um, these come laser cut, so you're gonna still see the face and the little nose on the girl and then the eyes and everything. So what I did is I went in with some pink paint that I had. I forget what color this is, you guys, but you can use any paint that you have that's pink. And I did the little nose. And then the other nose for the gentleman I did, it's a little square nose. I did that in pink as well. Then I, of course, traced out all my scrapbook paper for my little pieces. And then I put Mod, Mod Podge down with my little brush. And then we're just going to stick those on all the pieces and make our little bow, our bats, and also the bow tie for the gentleman ghost. And I just used different ones because the the... It comes with the little round piece for the bow for the girl's hair, and I use different ones. Then I run around the edges with my dark antiquing wax. This is in my shop. I use this a lot to give it a um, rustic old look to my things. You could skip this part if you don't like, you know, doing that. You could just leave them, you know, as is without even using the wax. But I went around the edges of my ghosts as well because I felt like they needed something a little extra, and I wanted them to look a little old. And so I went around the edges with the stencil brush. This wax is waxy. So when you rub it with your finger, it rubs on. And I use my uh, stencil brush and my fingers to rub it along the edges like so. And I love using this stuff, you guys. And like I said, it's in my Amazon shop if you're interested in getting some. And then I took my little pieces and glued them together. So first is the bow. I did, and then I did the bat because he has a little piece that goes on top so he looks a little more 3D in the bow. And I just, you know, put the little bow on the top of the girl. And then I put one of the bats on top. And then the gentleman, I did the little bow tie. We're gonna glue that at the bottom of him there, at the bottom of his face. And of course I use both glues again, <laughs> like always. And I glued that to the bottom, and then I did his bat as well. And I faced the bat for him in a different direction. I kind of did one one way and one the other way. And there they are, you guys. Aren't they cute? So then I took, I'm showing you how the triangle pieces go to help them sit up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the triangle piece, and you're going to put a little bit of hot glue on both sides of it, and then you're going to stick it down in that little groove. And then you take some more glue, and you're going to glue those to the back of your piece and lean it on it so that it sits upright so it doesn't fall over and there you go. These are really simple to put together and they help them to stand up on a shelf and I just love including these with my um, kits. So you guys should get, <laughs> these little ghosts are adorable, I love these. Um, these are my favorite out of everything today and I think they're adorable and they look cute on any shelf you guys and then I took a little bit of distract oxide and this is worn lipstick and I took my little makeup brush and I'm just giving them a little cheeks little rosy cheeks so see like you could dress these up as much as you want you could dress them down as much as you want and then I used some of my little um buttons black buttons that i had in my stash and i put those on the eyes because i wanted the eyes to pop a little more and i think this is a great idea um the buttons don't come with the kit but you could do this i mean buttons you get at dollar tree and i just stuck them on there and made their eyes pop a little more so tell me what you guys think go check them out in my shop they're in there and um yeah you can make your own 
and make sure you go check everyone out and i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always remember stay crafty bye